Okay, so the first thing I need to do is log into my cPanel for my account, and I've done that. And the next step is to create a database. So I scroll down, there's databases, and I've got a button, create new database. So I'm going to call this database email 707. So I've created a new database. That was pretty straightforward. And there it is there. The next step, I need to create a user to connect to the database. And this is the sort of link that comes from the web, from my WordPress website. So I'm going to create a username and I have to give it a password. And so I create a user that says successful. And the third thing then is I have to associate the user with the database. And I do that here. There's the user. And there's the database. And I go add. And at this point, I'm prompted what sort of privileges, because I could limit the access of the user to the database if I wanted. But I'm just going to say all privileges, and that's successful. OK, so I've set up the back end. I then go to uh, Dreamweaver. I've downloaded a zipped copy of WordPress, and I'm just going to upload it. In the zipped form because it'll go up quicker. And hopefully that's going up now. I'll look on my file manager and I should have. OK, and there it is on my remote server. I'm in the C panel again. There's my zipped copy. And so I just press extract. And there's the folder. So I've uploaded it to my remote server. And now the next step is to actually find that, find a file within it. So it was called communication skill, wasn't it? Communication skill, STT. There's the WordPress folder unzipped. And this is the file I want, the WP config. So I'm going to download that. And now back on my local server, I can see I've got the WordPress folder and I've got WP hyphen config. So the first thing I do is I change the title. And then I open it up and there's all sorts of instructions to help you figure out what this thing is doing. But really, the only important things are database name. And remember, the database was called in and the username was called And I also created a password for that username, and the password was and then I'm going to save the changes. And then I'm going to close the file. And then I'm going to upload it again to my remote server. And it's uploaded. So now the next step I do is I need to go to that website on my browser. And I think my website is this one. So I'll do the hyperlink. You'll notice the address is forward slash WordPress. And this is the installation file. So it's my test website. I'm going to leave username as admin. I'm going to make up a password, which I repeat, give my email address, mm -hmm. 
Oh, there it is, not looking. And it's only a test, so now we go install WordPress. And it says I've installed WordPress correctly. So can I stop the timer now?